kind of extended the um, time right. because of the. We were supposed to be off today, what? Tomorrow. tomorrow. Days running together. Uh, supposed to be off tomorrow, so. Uh, all right, so by the end of the day on Monday, if y'all are having grades uh, posted by the end, we certainly would appreciate it. Real quick, it's that time of the year for the uh, school climate uh, survey. Uh, we've already done it with the faculty and staff. We've already uh, done it with the parents. Now we have to do it with the, uh, with the students. Um, real quick, just uh, what is it? You know, it's just how the, they feel safe, connected, and engaged in the school environment. Uh, it demonstrates a positive uh, school climate as far as academic achievement, student engagement, and uh, social development. Uh, you know, that's what it is. It refers to the quality and character of school life. All right. And we do the, uh, that's what it means. And on this part, uh, you know, it has questions about do they feel safe, welcome, uh, treated with respect. Um, so I think what we're going to try to do is, um, is the, you know, talk about the school and the climate. Four dimensions is safety, relationship, engagement, teaching and learning, and institutional environment. And of course, y'all know it's measured. These are the different things that it's measured, measured by. We've already done this one. We've already done this one. We need to do that one. And that's how we get our, that's one of the components of how we get our star rating. You know, those three, four stars that we get on the uh, CCRPI report. Um, and that's pretty much it. What we're going to try to do is um, maybe run it through the uh, English department um, and just have the students. And I, what I want to get you to do is read um, something to the students this year, try to do it a little bit differently. Kind of read, and I'll send it to you, kind of explaining what a school climate is. And then also, they have to be careful because on the school climate, I think where, because it almost got me, where, you, where, um, you know, you have like one to five, and one is kind of like the, the, I think it's reversed. Where, where, where either, either, you know, five, usually the higher the number, the better the, you know, the reply, I think it's reversed. So you gotta be careful that they, that they understand that if it's, that they understand the rankings. So there's something that we have to for us to uh, go over. We have to have at least a 75% participation for it to uh, count on our, uh, us get credit for it, which we've never had a which we've never had an issue um, for that. Let me see if there's anything um, anything important. Uh, so I'll send you the. Um, that's kind of what the back, you know. That's kind of kind of what the data has told them across the state of Georgia. Um, you know, that's, that's, that's from the DOE, so that's everything is how the kids felt from the, uh, from the state of Georgia. Um, so, good thing about this is, the, you know, you have the 50%, <coughs> which 1% is too much in any of this, but that's how the students feel in 14, 13, 14. So, they haven't updated these slides yet. But, um, so that's kind of what they do with the with the climate survey, and for us, it's just part of our um, CCRPI, and it's something that we're uh, required to do. Any questions about that? Um, I think last year, didn't we run it through the English department last year? I thought we did, so y'all kind of familiar with how to get it done. And um, we'll figure out what, what uh, would be a good, uh, you let me know when it'd be a good time. Uh, we'll talk about it. Yeah. yeah. We'll talk about the same plan there. Yeah. And then just let me know when y'all can when y'all can do it. By then I'll have something that we can read to the students. 
before uh, administering it, and then we can just check that block. All right. Any other uh, concerns? Or I'm gonna real, be real short today. That's all. I, yes, sir. Not great. In light of some of the recent events, you know that that walkout thing, and my kids, we've talked about a little bit and some other things. And one thing, kids have brought to me in every class is having an intruder drill. Yes, sir. We talked about shooter intruder. Drill. Yes, sir. We talked about that yesterday. Yes, and we're going to do that. And I talked to them about doing my class and yes, all sir. that. But yes, yeah, sir. some of the kids, they, 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 every class, of, some of the kids have asked about yes, when we're going to have one of those. Shooters. Yeah, and one actually asked me yesterday. And it might one of my. <coughs> it may have been. It may have been. And uh, so we are going to have, and basically, in the intruder drill, um, you know, we used to have Frankenstein, but now we ain't going to try to hide it. We're just going to, you know, I think the alarm system had intruder. It'll just tell you what it is. We used to try to have a code. We ain't code nothing. We'll just say it's an intruder, and y'all just go into lockdown mode. A lot of your doors have the. Um, uh, a little flip lock. So what you do, you just flip the lock, get the kids away from the doors, cut your lights out, and just keep them quiet. They don't have to go under desks or anything like that, but you just want them away from the door and uh, turn your lights out and keep them quiet. And then you have your um, cards. your cards, but you do not open that door, you know, until we get it all clear and. Um, you know, uh, what we tell students, if and, and what we'll tell students, if they're in the restroom or something like that, you just get to the nearest, um, you just get to the nearest classroom. So if somebody's in the hallway, if we exchange in classes and, and it happens, then they just go to the closest classroom they at. And of course, if we're in class and it's happened, then you just lock it down and then if it's someone in the restroom or whatever, they just go to the closest to the nearest uh, classroom. So do we need to check the hallway like before we lock the door? No, you just lock the door. Okay. Yeah, you just lock the door, you know, we'll do all of that. Yeah, you know, one of the interviews on that the other day in the Florida um, incident, they were saying, the kids were saying that uh, one of the things that, the t one of the teachers that saved their classroom, that really, she locked that door no matter what she heard outside that door, no matter what, she heard screaming, whatever, she did not open that door. She kept those kids in that room, and they felt like that's what kept them. And that's exactly right. You don't open that door, you know, you don't open that door. If somebody's knocking, you know, you leave that door shut until you can identify or we can identify or you get the all clear call or you can identify who it is. You just keep that door locked and do not open it because you know, it, it, we don't know what, when people are in their mindset, they can be knocking on doors trying to get them open. Also, you know, we're fortunate that we do have three armed officers in the building, and we feel like, you know, they would get some resistance instead of just having a uh, free and clear uh, path. So hopefully, you know, that with the metal detectors and armed officers is a deterrent. You know, it's not, a, it, you know, if somebody has lost their mind, you know, you know, they just crazy. But um, yeah, just lock it down and just stay in there with the lights out and keep the kids quiet. One thing that they taught us in the uh, military and, and things, that if for some reason that person gets in the room, you just throw everything you got, you just throw at them. You don't, you don't just sit there and just let them. If they get in the room, you throw desks, books, uh, whatever. Whatever you got, you just throw it at them and try to, you know, that's better than, you know, everybody in the corner kind of. But, but you know, that kind of stuff, you have to be trained. And, you know, because sometimes fear paralyzes people. And unless you're trained or you're used to it, it, it paralyzes. So we will have um, some of those drills as well so that everybody is on the same, everybody's on the same page. Uh, so just stand by for that. And those drills don't take long. Um, you know, we'll, we'll sound the thing and we'll let you know and we'll sound it. You talk to the kids and tell them what to do and then we do it, we check, and then we go on with the, uh, with the school today. All right, any other? Thank you for that, Mr. Rice. Any other concerns or anything?